I hope you guys can hear me all right since we're by the highway and all. But uh, yeah, version one of the Kenworth W900 2023 is done. Um, this is what the first vision of the truck was um, when I thought about it in my head when I was specking it out. And it's come to life. Um, there's more to come. Uh, which we'll talk about, we'll get into, but I thought we should go over everything I've done for the version one of the truck. And uh, we'll go from there to my end goal with the truck and also, you know, what I'm gonna do for version two, because I normally build all my trucks in three versions. So version one, version two, and then the final version, which all of it is just pretty much steps working your way into getting to the final form but when i first got the truck this is what i wanted to look like but as you know time went on i've kind of changed thoughts in my mind but uh yeah it, it's been a long ride it's been a crazy ride an expensive ride but uh i love it so far so without further ado let's get into it all right well since we're in the front i guess we'll start off in the front so got united pacific headlights with the halos in them turn uh, amber and the turn signal for turn signals along with all my uh, watermelons turn as well all the three one over there and the one down here we got roadworks grill i stripped all the red out of the emblems of course and we got a 22 inch bumper which i think is valley chrome but i'm not 100 percent sure but i think it is valley chrome um, these were the first mods that I had got for it besides the grill, uh, the headlights, bumper, uh, visor is a road, work, work, road works visor as well. It's a uh, 18 to 20 inch drop, I believe. But those were the first things I did as a front end things. Um, of course, with the uh, 20 inch cylinder uh, lug nut covers as well. And yeah, that was my first couple of miles that I did and with the clear also the clear uh, cab lights as well and the chop visors and then the lights down the side well the first couple things that I did for this truck as soon as it came in I already had this stuff already uh, ready and uh, yeah from here we'll open up the hood we'll go over everything over there and we'll work our way back So, the only things that I actually got done under the hood of this truck is it is tuned and with, it's a mission compliant tune and I guess I should add that. And uh, I got the bigger uh, air intake from a PDI as well. It just has the X15 cover on it, which comes right off. Got the PDI on there. And you just pop her back on for uh, dealership reasons. But, um, and then of course we got the 12 gauge front air ride uh one leaf spring dual shock and uh so far it's been fantastic i've had it on the truck for a couple weeks now been testing it out and uh i love it i won't ever go back to another truck without front air ride ever again especially a longer truck so one of the best things i did the truck rides phenomenal I also have the steering uh, stabilizer on here on the front too. It rides phenomenal, it drives phenomenal. It, it's like floating on a cloud. Oh yeah, I also should add, um, from the factory, we got uh, 515 horsepower, which is now pushing around 640 horsepower, uh, 2050 torque. It came with 1850, but now it's pushing uh, 2050. Uh, 13 speed transmission, and I wanna say, 336 rears yeah 336 rears on the truck and uh like i said so far it's been a phenomenal truck no real issues besides a little minor stuff which has gotten fixed under warranty but so far i have no complaints well we're right here we'll continue right here we got our shift products watermelon for the breather shift products 
turn signal and uh, our shift products, hidden light bar. Um, on the hood up here, these are from uh, Spare Time Fab. I got a few things from him on this truck, but uh, Fair Time, Spare Time Fab, dual watermelon light, amber red. We got Roadworks watermelon down at the bottom. These are all from Iowa 80. I can't remember what brand this are, but for the sleeper, sleeper cat panels with the lights in them. We got, of course, the chrome DEF cover because that blue doesn't match anything, which eventually all of that will be hopefully leaving. Um, we got factory stacks. Don't mind the truck. It's dirty. I was going to try to get it to clean before this, but got factory seven inch stacks. We got Iowa customs rear watermelon bunk light kit. Roadworks center frame panel, Hodge built quarter fenders. Uh, I can't remember who makes the center uh, caps for those, but covered center caps, covered lug nuts. And the newest addition to the truck, the rear light bar. Um, all of this in the back has dual revolutions in it. So all of these change blue which is all nice they all match all back there all up here all back there so it all matches we got our iowa customs deck plate which is wrapped in black camo with the iowa customs um inside airline box which the rest of this is going to end up being covered but you know little by little steps but uh we'll move to the inside from here and show you what's going on on the inside all right, so for the inside of the truck, we have a custom made um, headliner piece by um, Florida's Finest, or yeah, Florida's Finest. We have their watermelon lights on the side and top middle. We have our spare time fab uh, CB center mount with watermelons that turn red and white with their CB drop down kit. We also have United Pacific Chrome trim, which is one of the newest additions to the truck. And we also have United Pacific Chrome um, vents. On top of all of that, we have United Pacific Chrome, United Pacific Chrome, cup holders along with um deleted red and the emblems on the doors and we have the tractor trailer and shift knob combo all blue glitter with the shifter wrap and boot um boot shifter boot by spare time fab as well so with all the blue things that are in the truck, they're all wrapped by me. That was my first time wrapping some stuff, so it doesn't look the best. Um, I did uh, remove the wrap from the dash that I did have. And I'm going to end up rewrapping it. I redid all that stuff when I put the uh, chrome trim in the truck. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the inside. Besides the rear, we got a uh, custom sheet cover with the uh, blue... Kenworth logo in them and then we got shift products floor mats and uh yeah that's basically pretty much everything on the truck in a sense um everything that I can think of at least that I don't think I missed anything um it's a pretty mild build it's nothing you know show truck worthy it's a good looking truck it's a work truck um it's done me well. I, I have no complaints about the truck whatsoever. It rides good. It looks good. And now we just got to get to that sounding good part. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, it's been a, been a journey. Um, I'm loving it. And I'm loving documenting all of it for all the guys that want to, you know, take the ride along with me and watch me as I essentially build my dream truck. 
But uh, with all that being said, thank you guys for all your support, all the likes, all the comments, and all. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. Got all the Instagrams in the bio. I have uh, TikTok and Snapchat and all the other stuff uh, if you want to communicate. And I uh, hope you guys have a good one. Peace.